So a lot of people these days are getting into running and there's every type of running shoe imaginable out there. But what if the best pair of running shoes are your bare feet? try and go uh, do any serious running and you're trying to use these modern shoes that have these super thick soles and the heel is usually a lot bigger and taller than the toe so your foot is in an unnatural position and you end up if you're a runner for any length of time you're going to get an injury I mean I think it's like 80-85% of um, runners that are running all the time they're gonna have an injury every year the injuries that you would get barefoot running would be like you're scratching your foot, you get uh, scratched on a stone or something like that. You can bandage that up and keep running. So the injuries that you get from running with um, shoes a lot of the times are a rolled ankle, you pull a muscle, and you're out for weeks, if not months, in more serious cases. So that's a major benefit. I think a part of this is because, again, your foot is so cushioned in this uh, comfy shoe that you're just pounding on your heel and when you're running you're running and landing on your heel rather than on your whole foot and um, you don't feel that because you got this super cushiony um, nice uh, sole and you can do that you can run on your heel and it's not going to hurt but over time it's going to start wearing down your knees and joints and you're gonna have these injuries and of course there's always exceptions to this there's those ex really experienced runners that are able to run in um, these modern shoes and there's no problem they they can um, do it without much injury what I'm using right now are um, from softstarshoes.com and they make some awesome uh, handmade uh, leather shoes in Oregon and they are great if it's cold weather out or you're running on a rocky surface but a lot of the time I just want to run in bare feet that way you can feel the ground better and I just want to give you guys some tips on if you wanted to try this yourself I wouldn't start right off just running in bare feet you're gonna hurt yourself because you're gonna be running like you normally would on your heel and you're gonna hurt yourself um, in that way because you're not used to it just try walking around the house in bare feet walking outside a little bit around your house in bare feet and uh, just kind of get used to that feel of the ground um, on your feet and uh, just start building up the muscles in your feet because you're going to start using muscles that you haven't used um, in years if not ever if you've always been wearing shoes you're going to be using these muscles so you want to start building them up slowly and then I would suggest um, running on a hard surface and you would think otherwise you think you'd want to run on like grass or sand or something soft but uh, if you do that you're going to end up again running on your heel which isn't what you want to do so you want to run on a harder surface which is going to force you to run um, flat footed and some people when they're barefoot running they'll run and land on the ball of their foot like this but um, how I've been doing it recently is landing flat-footed, so your whole foot lands at once. You don't want to land on your heel, which is how you would normally run if you're wearing uh, regular uh, sneakers or running shoes. You're going to end up landing on your heel. Um, that's not what you want to do when you're barefoot running. And you'll, if you start doing that, you're going to hurt your heel and you'll stop uh, pretty much right away. So um, I think the best um, position would be to land flat-footed. You don't need to start with long runs or something like five, ten miles. You don't want to do that. Start off with just around the block or something and work yourself up and just get used to that new feel of running on your bare feet or in minimalist shoes like this. And there's a lot of shoes coming out that are more of a minimalist style that are for barefoot runners and you can feel the ground more and they're completely flat. There's no heel to them and there's a very thin sole. And once you've done that for a while, a couple weeks or so, um, 
you kind of have to judge it yourself how you're doing and progressing. You don't want to rush it. So you build up those muscles in your feet and get used to running like that. And then you can start running longer distances. And um, you can run on softer surfaces if you want then. That Once you have learned that technique, you can run on the grass or on a trail or something. So, and I found it to be a lot more enjoyable that way. Um, in my experience, I can run uh, longer. You can feel the ground more. and It just feels uh, more natural that way. So I would just encourage you, if you're inclined at all to do any type of exercise, running, uh, cycling, or anything like that, just to try it out and see how it works for you. You may really enjoy it or you may hate it. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.